All right, y'all, yo, what up? Been a minute since uh, I've done this. Welcome to a little crispy wings mukbang. I don't have anything to pour today. I do just have a glass of water. Unfortunately, any uh, soda options in my house were all out. Uh, beyond that, coldest water, shout out. If you'd like to get a bottle, save 10%, do so down below in the links, use code hoodie. And uh, beyond that, I'm excited to get into these wings. They just came out of the pan fryer. I did them in canola oil, straight up, just naked. And uh, I gotta say, looking really quite great. Couple things to note. Up front in the uh, the dipping center, we have honey garlic, peri peri, like le or sorry, lime, herbed, like semi spicy, and then ranch. And uh, yeah, I'm just ready to eat. These are super hot and fresh, and uh, we'll have a chat. But the first thing I want to do is go honey garlic. It's a store bought honey garlic. It's a little thin. I added a little bit of a cornstarch slurry, but I should have done probably a bit more it's still pretty thin like it drips I feel like honey garlic shouldn't really drip it should totally stick but uh, give me one up close of that a little honey garlic coat and in we go I don't know if you can see That steam go <clears throat> coming coming off. But they are fresh. So incredibly crunchy. Just salted them after. going to do it on a dip by dip basis something crazy in the world is happening two things well a lot of things but relative to to food and diet pop actually this whole little platter here this is two pounds by the way of wings uh, is all the drum part of it because all my grocery stores here don't have any flats and I don't understand what the deal is. There's a, just a sh shortage of flat. Mm. Man, that's good sauce. Nando's. You gotta try it. Um, so yeah, they only sell the drum part. which I'm so confused about. Also, Diet Dr. Pepper and Diet NW Root Beer, impossible to find, obsolete since pandemic started. They are non-existent ranch. So it's quite a shame, quite a bummer. Both my favorite diet pops and my favorite part of the wing. Can't seem to get anywhere. Very annoying. Another annoying thing was my own bonehead error, but when I went shopping for these the other day, or yesterday, I should say, I, uh, I meant to get buttermilk because I wanted to do one pound naked like this, just na like natural. And then I wanted to do the other pound like breaded 
So I'm gonna do uh, like a half flour, half cornstarch, and like blend up almost like kind of crunchy cornflake, buttermilk soak them and then dredge them in that and then fry them off to make like a, a crispy coated type fried chicken type style wing. But I forgot the buttermilk. So we ended up here, but instead what I will do in the coming days, I'll make those same, that same concept, but buttermilk fried chicken sandwiches. And I want to coat them in like a honey hot style sauce I'm gonna make. So I'm down for that. But yeah, man, just taking a breather, had to take a breather in terms of YouTube. So many reasons why, to be honest. Um, <clears throat> It's hard to even pinpoint one because there's probably about 50. But I will say one for sure. Definitely as to why. And it's, uh, man, this stuff, so good. It's pretty straightforward, pretty simple reason. And that is that my ice maker is annoying. That's one thing. But the, uh, the other thing is that like you, the people who watch these videos, like you probably pull up with a plate and like enjoy a nice meal just having like me on in the background, you know, half paying attention, but also just getting to like enjoy your meal. And uh, <clears throat> for most of my life before ever doing this, ever doing YouTube, ever pulling up with eating videos, I used to be the same person. Um, I'd get my, I'd make my meal at home or I'd get my, or I'd order something. And it would be like my, my like really enjoyable de-stress time. Like the, you know, just I really enjoy that food and not think about too much. Just kind of escape, put something on to listen to and just vibe out. And that was one of my one of my favorite things in life, to be honest. I think it's a lot of ours. And uh, I've just dedicated, sacrificed really, a lot of those moments in my life for this channel, to eat for this channel. And uh, when I'm running the channel at top tilt, I basically only eat for the channel pretty much just because it's so hard to maintain a healthy weight and everything if I'm eating like dirt for the, this channel and then like eating a bunch more per the day like it just doesn't make sense but so I was sacrificing those really enjoyable style meals in order to do this. And uh, I just want to know what that was like again. I wanted to know what it was like to be able to make a meal, order a meal, not stress about setting anything up, not stress about the angle of the camera, not stress about what I'm going to say, talk about, 
That's just about anything. And and get to put on my show, movie, whatever, YouTube, and just let it all be and just actually enjoy every bite of the food because this is what a lot of people like who do this won't tell you, but during the creation of content of a mukbang, uh, no matter what, even if you don't talk, you're still robbed of a certain level of, of pleasure because you don't, there's always something else going on in your mind relative to the lighting, did, did my sound fuck up, is my angle wrong? Oh shit, I'm going to have to edit that out. So you can't completely enjoy every bite quite the same as you would if you were off camera zoning out. So, I needed to experience that again for a little while, which I did. Uh, and let me tell you, it was great. I love that shit. I got to order things. You know, the dirty things. that I would normally be like, oh, this has to be a video. But instead this time, I got to just fully indulge. And not have to scroll through comments about you couldn't be eating that. Yeah, man, 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 man. Yeah, yeah. Keep talking. <laughs> but yeah, that was one of the more simple reasons as to why I just needed a break. Um, many other deeper reasons as to why I also needed a break. Won't really get into them. It's probably too much for this video. But, uh, I don't know, man. On some other basic shit, I just needed to like recharge. I just needed some freedom. freedom from expectation and standards to uphold and shit like that. Also just enjoy summer. Very short where I am. Get out to the lake. Just go like be in the sun and just simple life enjoyment, more or less. Mm. Just want to shout out. Everyone who showed uh, love on my recent song that I released there, that with that video, Time Ticks. If you haven't watched it, please go check it out. Leave a comment. Also, 
Also go watch the video I just dropped <laughs> about my top 10 movie food reactions. I thought it was hilarious, personally myself, or highly entertaining at least. Seems like one of those videos that could have like, just by the thumbnail and the title, like a, like a, a viral potentiality, but. Seeing as I'm pretty sure I've been basically shadow banned, I feel like by YouTube, because in the past, my videos have not really aligned with YouTube law. I think somewhere along the way they were like, fuck this guy. Let's just keep him hidden, but It'd be sick to hit the algorithm again sometime soon, but who knows? Whatever. Uh, I also just feel like I've been having like, I told you guys back in the day, that when I was in my early 20s, I had like a panic attack and then all this anxiety. That basically forced like a spiritual awakening on me. I feel like I'm having another one of those. Minus the anxiety though. It's not like, it's, it hasn't, it's not an anxiety induced, like breakthrough in, in like awareness. This time it just seems more like intellectually focused and wisdom based. in the questioning, like deeply questioning a lot of things. Just about me, my values, my morals, what's next for me, what, what do I really want here, like out of life? What's, what's actually important? And then questioning a lot of shit about like reality, the nature of reality. And then also the sort of the state of the world right now and how intensely Everything's seemingly, there's a lot of conflict right now. And a lot has happened in this year that has like been so vibrationally like abrasive. And uh, I think it's just pushing a lot of people into, a, into higher states of consciousness. And uh, it's pretty undeniable at this point. I think there's some sort of I don't know transcendence type shit that's like on the horizon for I don't know, humanity or the world as a whole. I don't know, something's happening though. And it's, it's like happening in within me as well. And uh, 
I also just needed to get off of here, off of this platform, which is very, very, kind of toxic, I'm not gonna lie. There's a lot of bad energy on this, on this platform. A lot of really good information though. A lot of good energy too. But, uh, Yeah, I just needed time to step away and like process a lot of that and uh, introspect. And um, just kind of figure out like what my uh, modus operandi is. Should be in life really just moving forward because the world as we knew it shit's dead man And things are gonna get a lot more wild before they ever return. I just don't think they're ever gonna return to like what it was. I just I think we're really on just the we're 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 at the very beginning baby step path to a whole new a whole new way of life I think and I'm not sure that that way of life is gonna be for the better. I don't know. I will say this though, I am extremely fortunate to be where I live in the world. Geographically speaking, both as my citizenship, like being a Canadian. I, I've never been more happy or proud to be a Canadian in my life. This is like, I just really think our country has like, we stepped up to the plate pretty hard with all this relative to our own, our own civic duty in a sense to each other. And um, I just love the fact, like, I, I don't know, Canada is like a, just a really great country to be honest. And uh, I'm really glad that I don't just with everything that I think is about to occur in the world, like that I don't live in a, in a major city anymore, that I don't live in like a metropolis, that, I, that I'm near like uh, nature and shit in like a more widespread type scenario, just with way less people, way less intensity, more of a community type feel. And then of course, just, you know, just my, my, uh, my living situation that I'm in, which is, I'll have to elaborate on that maybe in a, in a video, but I just never wanted to flex it, but I bought a house, so there's that, but I'll talk about it in another video. But uh, yeah, I mean, I'm all good in that regard. Another reason why I took a break because I'm just like doing well in that area. Like I'm, I'm all good in a sense with, uh, with my, uh, living situation in terms of income and stuff. So yeah, I just finally had like a, the moment in time where it felt appropriate, like just to be like, I can afford to just, you know, regain some of my normality back here. 
Because as fun as the internet is to do, at times, it's also really strange. It's a strange place. But it's like, you know, it's part of our lives now, right? It's like, it's, it's, it's the world with inside the world. So, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just sometimes you got to pull the plug out of that matrix to come back to this matrix just to enjoy this one a little bit to just have your normal human self and then uh, come back refreshed, I guess. But uh, yeah, anyways, those were fucking awesome. And uh, I don't know, I'm just going to wing it from here on out as, as I always do. But I got some plans. I got, I got some ideas. I got some other other vids that I want to come down the chamber. Um, yeah, I have some ideas. Just stay tuned. Till the next one. Eat good, live well. Stay true.